Hello, hockey hysterics. Colorado Avalanche have finally traded Matt Duchesne in a blockbuster deal. Matt Duchesne goes back to his country and he's going to be playing for the Ottawa Senators. Ottawa teams up with the National Predators who acquire Kyle Turris in exchange they have to give away Vl forward Vladislav Kamenev, uh, defenseman Samuel Gerrard, and a second round pick to the Colorado Avalanche. While Ottawa Senators acquire Matt Duchesne, they have to give up Shane Bowers, Andrew Hammond, a first round pick, and a third round pick. So we saw this deal coming earlier on when the draft was going on, when there's speculation of Duchesne, but in the past week, we thought this was dead. We heard Ottawa was on the market for Matt Duchesne. We heard that there was a deal in place that just didn't get finalized. And now out of the blue, they call up each other again, I guess, and say, hey, deals go. But I think the one key factor that made this deal go through was that National Predators had to be on board with it. The National Predators had to give Colorado something in order to get Kyle Turnus from the Ottawa Senators. Ottawa only wanted Duchesne. They didn't want someone from Nashville. They wanted the number one center for their team, which I think they got. I think Duchesne, with a new atmosphere, a new light on his career, he can really perform in Ottawa. And Colorado gets a whole bunch of pieces to their team. They get a goalie. They get two forwards. They get a defenseman. And they get three draft picks. And these aren't seventh round draft picks. These are one, two, and three. Guaranteed a first overall pick, guaranteed a second overall pick, and guaranteed a third overall pick. Sackett got seven players in exchange for one. Sure, it's Matt Duchesne, but there's always been that friction between him and the team, and this adds so many key factors to the Colorado Avalanche. Already a young team, you have Varlamov who might go to Russia, uh, there's always that speculation, and you get a goaltender who had a good year and maybe can have another one. It'd be a one-hit wonder, but still, you have a good third-string goaltender on your team with Andrew Hammond. And Kyle Turris has to leave the nation's capital to go to the country music capital of Nashville. Now, Nashville Predators have already signed him to a six-year deal worth $36 million. $6 million a year for Kyle Turris, who is already 28. So when Kyle Turris' contract finally ends, he's going to be 34 years old. That's $6 million worth of a 34-year-older who... In Ottawa, he's a great player. He's a great player. Kyle Turris is a great player. But at 34 years of age, or even now, is he worth $6 million? I think maybe a little less. I'm thinking more $5, 4000000 million. He could be a first liner. He could be a second liner. But do you really want to start tossing money around when you have Yossi, you have Rene, you have Subban, you have Forsberg, you have Johansson? Do you really want to give $6 million to him? You also have Ryan Ellis. So who do I think has been the most productive in this trade? And who do I think has been the least productive in this trade? Most productive, Colorado. They did their work. They did their math. They got seven players in the deal for one. Really smartly played by Sakic. Really good prospects to bring to your team. Really good setup to help McKinnon, help Landeskog, even Yakupov, maybe even help him out. You get every position in this trade. From goaltender to forward, you got everything in this deal. It doesn't mean that these guys are necessarily going to be playing in the NHL, but still, they have that potential to. And that's exactly what Colorado needs right now. The loser in this deal, I would have to say the Nashville Predators. Kyle Terrace is a great hockey player, but immediately signing him to a $6 million a year deal, ugh, it's a little premature. And having to give up a prospect in a draft pick, uh, it's, is it worth it? That's what I'm wondering. I'll we'll just have to see how it pans out. Each team could have a huge benefit factor from this trade. I don't really see how they can't. I just think that Turris is probably the wrong deal for Nashville, seeing as they already have their lineup set. I don't think they need to be involved in this trade, but in Ottawa's case, they're very grateful for that. And of course, Matt Deshane going to Ottawa, He's going to be a great piece for their team. They really need that number one center. They got Hoffman. I mean, Duchesne and Hoffman. You got a passer in Duchesne who can dangle, and you got a whipper of a shot in Hoffman. And, of course, you have Carlson at the point that if those guys keep going, it's just going to be like this trade, a big triangle. So what do you think? Do you think that Ottawa made the right decision and acquired Duchesne? Who do you think got the better end of the deal? Who do you think got the worst end of the deal? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel 
and to smash that like button. All right, guys, have a great day.